Hi friends, today we will see how to determine the point group of a molecule using the flow chart given here. So our aim is to study first to go through the flow chart and then we will determine one by one each molecule taking as an example how, what will be the point group. So this is our flow chart and going to the flow chart here the first thing we have to check for is whether the molecule is a of special groups. So the first, the this is the first mode of identification whether the molecule is of special group. The special group means either it should have a linear or other type of symmetries. So if the answer is yes here we will go to this direction and we will check whether the molecule is linear or other one. And if it is linear, we will go to this direction and if it is not linear, we will go to here, one with multiple order of axis. This is of special groups which comes here as tetrahedral, octahedral, etc. Okay, so familiar examples are methane, etc may be already familiar. Now here it is if you if the molecule is linear so the molecule is of special group then we check whether it is linear or other if it is a linear one you have to check whether it is having an I which is the inversion symmetry. If it is inversion symmetry we can conclude that the point group is D infinite H okay and if it, there is no I we will call it as a C infinite V. What is the reason this because since it is if it is having an I means it will be having a horizontal plane and there will be inversion of symmetry so there will be a D infinite H and if there is no I that means it will be having a C infinite axis will be there since it is a linear molecule it will be C infinite V. So that is about them if the molecule is of a special type. Now coming to here if the molecule is not a special type here you can go to no. Now what we have to check is whether it is having a CN axis. So we know the rotation axis, what is CN axis. If the CN axis is, doesn't, the molecule doesn't contain CN and the answer is no and will come here and we can see here if it is having a sigma plane, the point group will be CS and if it is having an inversion symmetry CI the point group will be CI and if there is no sigma and no I that is a very special group we call it as the C1 that is C1 is actually the uh, representation or the those molecules will have the minimum number of symmetry elements a very special example is the tetrahedral carbon atom is C1. So uh, coming to here if the special groups, uh, it is not a special group, no, CN is present, no, but if it contains sigma, CS, if it is I, CI, no sigma and I, C1. Now, if the answer is yes here, that it contains a CN uh, axis, we will come to here and the next question is whether the CN is a special case of S2N. What is S2N? It is rotation reflection axis. If it is a special case of rotation, we can directly conclude the point group as SN. That meaning to say if that axis is C2 axis, we can call it as it is a S2 point group. Now, S2 point group is very rare, very uh, limited molecules are having the S2. Now, if the answer is no, the answer is no will come here and then what we have to check is whether there are other C2 axis perpendicular to the CN axis. So the CN axis is the perpendicular axis and we have to check for any other C2 axis are there which is perpendicular to the CN axis. Now comes two broad classification based on this particular question whether it is having an NC2 axis perpendicular to CN. If it is yes, if there are NC2 axis perpendicular to CN axis, the, if it is yes, here you can see that it is having a if it is having a sigma H plane we will call that particular molecule as DNH and if it is there is no sigma but sigma D's are present very important point group of like benzene if no sigma D's are present it will be having a DND point group and if no sigmas are present no uh, plane of symmetries are present we will call it as DN group. So up to that it is clear. Now the again we are going to the other option of the answer no. NC2 perpendicular to CN axis are not present but only CN axis are present. If it is so we will come here. Now we have to check the molecule whether it is having a sigma H plane. 
whether the molecule is a planar if it is so we will gi be giving the point group as cnh suppose it was having a c2 uh, axis now we will be calling that point group as c2h now if there is no sigma h is present but only sigma v's are present see no horizontal plane so the molecule is not having a planar structure if it is so we will be calling it as a cnv point group and now if there is no sigmas are present here also here also we check whether nc2 perpendicular in the other side here also we are checking if there is no sigmas are present we will be calling it as a cn group so by going through this flow chart we can determine each molecule whether it is it contains what is the it contains which or whether it is of the which point group friends let us start with some uh, simple molecules the determination of point group first let us see a very simple molecule which is the nitrogen so for nitrogen when we are checking the point group so the first step is to determine whether it is of a special group so if you are determining the nitrogen you can see that nitrogen is a linear or other type so it is a linear one so that is sure it is a linear molecule linear molecule if it is linear molecule what we have to check is two things one is whether it is only one thing it is whether it is having an inversion symmetry nitrogen molecule as you can see that it is having an inversion symmetry why because or if you go from here to here you will see a nitrogen atom if you go to the opposite side also there is a nitrogen atom it is having an inversion symmetry so your point group will be which one it will be d infinite h so the this one point group is d infinite h if it is so what it will be the this hcl molecule that also you, you can see it is a linear molecule so it is not of is it is of a special group it is linear and coming from here from here you can see that it is not having an inversion symmetry so it is not having an inversion symmetry if it is no and so your point group should be which one it should be c infinite v so that means hcl point group is c infinite v okay now we will go to our very familiar example which is the water molecule so in the water molecule as you know the point group we already uh, studied the uh, group multiplication table and all the symmetry elements of it it is having a c2 axis of symmetry now you come to the flow chart when coming to the flow chart you can see it is not of a special group it is neither linear nor it is having a tetrahedral or octahedral structure so it is not of a special group now we are going to know here now the next question what we have to ask is whether the cn is present if it is present if it is no it will go to here since cn is present our for water molecule it is c2 axis we are coming to here c2 is present here now here in the c2 you can see it is not a consequence of s2 and because it doesn't have an s2 n axis so your answer should be which one no now if it is no now you have to check whether nc2 there are other c2 axis which is perpendicular to the cn axis and you can see for that also the answer is no so there are no other c2 axis only one c2 axis is uh, present here which is like this so no, no other c2 axis now we coming here whether it is having a sigma h the molecule is an angular one it is not having a horizontal plane now whether this is having a no sigma h but sigma v's are present see water molecule has as you know we have two sigma v's which is sigma xy and sigma which were the ones which one is sigma xy and the other one is sigma x is it so c uh, this is c and b so if it is c and b what will the what will be the point group it will be c and the order of rotation is c2 and this is a c2v point group so you got it as c2v point group immediately going to another very familiar example which is ammonia uh, so ammonia also we can determine like this n h h so nitrogen and uh, three hydrogens it is not of special group this is no now coming here cn is present yes cn bar s2n it is not a special consequence of s2n so it is also no there are no other c3 axis so we can see this, see this is a c3 one so our principal axis of rotation for ammonia is uh, c3 now it is no and here the next question comes here no and again coming here there are 
no sigma h is present it is a pyramidal molecule and sigma v's are present three sigma v's are present so the point group of ammonia is c3v like this c2v we determine c2v we determine here and next is c3v now another molecule very interesting molecule is boric acid boric acid as you can see boric acid ha can have two structures i have uh, written uh, one structure here so this is the first one boric acid this is a planar one and this boric acid is non planar so what is the difference here all the atoms are in the plane of the board whereas here the hydrogen and atoms are towards directed towards me or it may be directed towards you so it is these hydrogen atoms are not not in the plane of the paper so first of all let us check the planar molecules point group planar molecule now this planar molecule you can see it is not of a special group it is neither linear nor tetrahedral or octahedral now you can come here now cn is present so cn is present so you have to uh, the answer is yes coming from here uh, yes, cn s2 n now there are no uh, improper axis of rotation no nc2 is perpendicular to cn so you have to come here now coming here you can see that this molecule is a planar molecule that means it is having a sigma plane which is the planet is in the plane of the paper so this uh, and the higher order of axis is c3 so its point group will be c3 h if it is so what will be the point group of the non planar one so the non planar one up to here everything is same same for the planar cn uh, it is yes here it is no here again it is no coming here you can see that sigma h is not present no sigma v's are present but what what is present no no sigma s are present so it is the point group will be cn or the point group of non planar boric acid will be just c3 okay now we will go to some other molecules one is this trichlorobenzene trichlorobenzene it is having so it is not of a uh, special group now cn is present what is the cn axis present for this the principal axis will be c3 so that is clear it is having a c3 axis it is yes now coming here this cn uh, and it is not of a uh, it doesn't contain any improper axis of rotation so you can come here now whether there is n c2 axis perpendicular to cn axis what about this molecule it is having n c2 axis perpendicular to axis so this is actually going through here this is our c3 axis now the c2 axis are like it will go like this this is one one c2 axis so there are three c2 axis so here the answer is n c2 perpendicular to n it is yes now coming here it is having a, whether it is having the next question is whether it is having a sigma h plane whether it is having a sigma h plane sure it is a planar molecule it is having a sigma h plane in the plane of the board so it is here it will be d then so d 3h so this molecule will be having a point group of d 3h now we can take the, this example pf5 molecule it is having a trigonal bipyramidal structure again checking on this this is not of a uh, tetrahedral or octahedral it is a uh, trigonal bipyramidal so it is not of coming in the special group coming here it is whether it is a cn the principal axis as you can see evidently you can see that it is having a c3 axis so it is yes here now it is not of the uh, sn type so here you can check whether it is n c2 axis perpendicular to cn axis sure it is having a c2 axis what will be one of the c2 axis you can draw like this if if i am um, the seat if the axis pass through here through any of the pf bond we can see that it is an and c2 axis and it is perpendicular to the perpendicular to the c3 principal axis so n c2 is perpendicular to cn going to here it is yes so again your molecule will be and here the point group will be c3 h here you can see this molecule is having uh, sorry this is will be d3 h d3 h you see two different molecules but they are having the same 
point two. Now next is the last one is uh, benzene. What about benzene? Benzene you can see it is not of special group. It is having a principal axis and that principal axis is which one? It is a C6 one. So if it is C6, the the we have to check whether there are n C2 perpendicular to C n axis. Of course, there are six uh, C and C2 axis are there which are perpendicular to the perpendicular to the C n axis. So we have to come here. Now whether the molecule is uh, planar or not. So it is a planar molecule sigma h. So its point two will be D 6 h. Similarly, you can determine the point group of any other molecules.